Hi, teammates. We'll dive into some mysteries. So what I see is in this time right now is men's hearts are failing them for fear of those things coming upon the earth. And that's what I see full throttle right now because it's like we'll be getting really close to the 38, the Ezekiel 38, and then it's like we'll have a setback. And it appears to be a setback because of what Trump says. You know, he'll say the Ukraine is all BS or something, or, you know, or it'll be a commercial on TV that looks like we're, we're stuck in the 50 50. But, um, it's all, it's all deception, though. Is what you have to realize. I mean, Jesus is in control of this end time game. And some people seem to have forgotten what the heck we're doing. I mean, you know, like I, I consider myself a watchman, you know, even though I don't show some of the current information sometimes. But, you know, um, that's still how I feel about these things. And, you know, we'll. I'll show you all this. We'll, we'll keep going over this, but um, my grandpa H. He had a brother named Ernest, and then to break that down fuller um, or fully from from Ern, which is Saving Private Ryan reference, you get uh, Luciana Barroso who's Matt Damon's wife. So, thought that was interesting. And I'll let you take a look at all this. But um, this is all from Zechariah 1, 7 through 11. And talks about the myrtle tree. But, like, in the back of my mind, anytime I think, like, well... You know, we could go to 2066 or something, you know. Anytime I'm thinking like that, I always think, like, how could God wake us all up with 2001? And even before that, you know, guys like Armored Saint have been around a really long time. And, you know, how, like, I, I don't think that someone like Armored Saint would... And, essentially live his entire life and not see the rapture, you know, because it, I remember him saying he, he knew about this back.